for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh did you not like how I had them organized, baby? Do you not like how I had them organized? Is this better? Is that better? Lots of company when I get ready in the morning. Puppy. And my little organizer. Hello everyone and welcome back to another day in the life vlog. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going through my to-do list in preparation for our trip to California. I am actually in California right now recording this for you and this was filmed before we left and I just wanted to show you how I was going through my to-do list a couple days before we left trying to prep um, have with a kid. It's a little bit different for packing and everything and it took me a couple days of prep to get the house ready for the guests that we had to watch our dog and everything. Um, so I was just cutting up the kitchen, rolling the cloth wipes for the last couple days of diapering Theo before we left. How many of you guys cloth diaper and did cloth wipes? Super curious to know. I'd say we do like um, maybe 90% cloth and 10% disposables. We just do whatever's convenient at the time. I had to freeze a bunch of our bananas that were super, super ripe, so we used these in smoothies and ice cream and all of those goodies. I also needed to prep some more of my DIY cleaning stuff for the guests that we were having because I know that they were going to want to clean the house. That's just what they do, um, even though I cleaned it before we left. So I'm making a DIY toilet scrub here, and I'll try to put the uh, measurements of everything, but it's just equal amounts of borax and baking soda, and this one had some kosher salt as well. If you need me, what's the use of playing games? No, there's no denial what we want. Just watch me break in. DIY cleaning to-do list was to make the glass cleaner. I have been trying to make a habit of making my bed every day no matter what time of day it is when I finally get to making it and it has made a huge difference in how I feel like of an organized household it's amazing I also finally washed our electric blanket for the guest bedroom and I needed to put that back on the guest bed so it was already made but I had to unmake it and remake it again with the fresh clean electric blanket for our guests last clip that you saw. Um, I'm probably doing a voiceover on everything else, so this is the first time that I'm talking to the camera. Hi, hello. Um, it is four o'clock and I'm trying to get dinner started. Um, I've basically been trying to go through my to-do list today and so far I've only gotten like some of the small things done, but we leave in a couple, two days for, by the time you're seeing this, we're already either going to be there or be back from California, but we leave in a couple days and I have not packed anything but his stuff yet. He was kind of fussy. Wow, your hair looks red in this light. Man, um, the lighting in here isn't super great in the kitchen, but this is all that I can do. So I'm going to start dinner. Um, we are having cauliflower mac and cheese. It's a really great vegan recipe. Um, 
it's from a cookbook, so I don't, I won't be able to link it. My friend sent it to me, but maybe I can show like a screenshot of the photo that I was using. Um, so one of the things that I went and got, I'll show you. Guess what book came out today? Okay, who else was really excited for this? I can't be the only one. Girl, Wash Your Face was like my most motivating book, so I'm so excited to read this while on vacation. Um, and I'm going to have to stop myself from reading the whole thing tonight so that I can have a book to enjoy on vacation. But this was part of like our errand running. I had to go pick up this book. Yeah. All right, making dinner and then hopefully I will be able to pack when Matt gets home from work. Yeah. Sorry Matt, this is the first time I'm using his pan as a Christmas present. Hopefully that's okay with him. talking about okay now this has to simmer how you doing back there hmm? wanna say hello oh you're chewing I see so this is kind of boring I'm going to just show you the finished product it's really good Theo's we'll see how much he eats we have like garden Meatballs, baked broccoli, and the cauliflower mac and cheese. What is it, chickpea noodles? You bought them. Oh yeah, chickpea noodles. Yeah, chickpea noodles. And it's really good. So hopefully he likes it. Naked baby and dad's home. Hi. Dinner time. Dad likes to dress the baby funny, so you have pants on your head. Is it yummy? He's trying to learn how to eat with a spoon. Maybe we should put the dog, have him go lay down. I'll go lay down, please. And this is ours. Go, on. go mm. lay down. We might have to go back for seconds. Yum. Well, you got it, bud. Now put <gasps> it in your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Theo, are you done? Is this the aftermath? Yeah. Didn't eat really all of it at all. Oh. I heard some laughing. No, not here. <laughs> it's like, Mom, I'm getting... I'm you getting, getting rubbed down after your bath? <gasps> Hi! Dad's trying really hard not to get it in the hair, but he got way too much lotion. Uh-oh. <laughs> Put it on yourself. I don't hear any laughing. I got the camera out to record the laughing, and there's no more laughing. I don't know what you're talking about. There was no laughing here. Why do you more laughing? There's no laughing. There's no laughing. There's no laughing. No. 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 <laughs> oh. Hi, sweetie. You got Don't some stuff on your face. Don't laugh for the camera. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Oh, did it? Oh, did it? Oh, did it? <laughs> Love you, baby. Oh. Oh, look at my cuteness, mama. Love you, baby cakes. Much better. Whoops, forgot to put this guy back. There we go. For now, this is just how our living room is organized with all of the toys. I have not taken down that happy birthday or this guy. It's just so cute. I mean, look at all of his first month, two month, three month, four month, five month, six month. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I didn't have twelve up for his birthday because it was before he actually turned twelve months. Oh my goodness. Okay, better, better. It's cleaned up. I have Theo went down to sleep. There we go. 
he's asleep. Does anybody else feel like all, I made one thing and all of these dishes I had to wash. Just feels like a lot of dishes for one meal. Is that just me? How do I use every possible dish? I don't know, but I do. I still have a lot on my to-do list that needs to get done. It's barely or almost seven o'clock. I need to pack for our trip. Um, Matt had to go do some more work, so he left and he'll be back soon. Um, luckily, I got him home for dinner, so that was really nice. And yeah, I'm just gonna have some wine and relax. Mm -hmm. It's been a long day. Um, I'm gonna have some wine, try to relax a little bit, and by that I mean packing. So if you're watching this and it's nighttime, about cheers. To leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't You guys, I think that packing is my least favorite part about going on a vacation or going anywhere. I have yet to find a trick that really helps me figure out what I need and what I don't need. I always overpack no matter how much I go back through my suitcase and take things out before we leave. If you have any tips, please tell me and leave it in the comments down below. Message me on Instagram, like whatever you need to do. I am such an overpacker. It's bad. I'm done living life with the lights out. just went downstairs because Theo woke up again and I wanted to sit down and have a little chat and ask you guys if you have a similar or have had or are having a similar experience. Theo wakes up a lot during the night. Sometimes it's just twice and sometimes it's um, well, what, it's like 7.30. It hasn't even been that long and he woke up again and just needed to be rocked back to sleep and put back down. Um, I was never a fan of the cry it out method. I just couldn't do it so he basically just gets nursed to sleep um, which works most of the time. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to be quiet because he sleeps right beneath us. Um, anyway like last night for example he went to his bed at 8 o'clock and then he woke up at 10, 1, 3, 5.30. I was able to get him back to sleep with me at 5.30. He sleeps in his crib by himself. Usually he doesn't sleep very well with us in bed. Um, I was able to get him back to sleep with me and he woke up at like 8.30, so like 6 to 8.30. Um, but that kind of made his nap schedule all different for today. Normally he wakes up by like 6 a.m. and he goes down for his nap by 9 a.m. But obviously this morning, since he woke up at 8.30, he didn't go down for a nap until like 11. And then that was the only nap that he took, which is why he went to bed so early tonight. Um, so like for a one-year-old, like how do you guys, What? let me know in the comments below, like how... What kind of sleep schedule do you have? Do you have one at all? Like what worked for you? Let me know because I'm curious. I'd love to get a little bit more sleep, but we'll see. I don't know if that's even possible right now. Anyway, back to packing. <music> So Matt insists that we share a suitcase. This is my half so far. I still have to put like all of my ditty bag stuff in it. So we shall see if it fits. I think we're going to use part of Theo's suitcase for some of our things as well. Puppy sleeping. Matt's home, just took a shower. I think I'm gonna call it a night on this vlog. So I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.